one of the big discussions uh, in the country uh, clearly is the issue of transformation uh, and with specific reference to, to media and marketing, it's been an ongoing discussion throughout last year. So I think with that in mind, the discussion that we're going to have now uh, about uh, what the Creative Council wants to do with regard to transforming the advertising industry, uh, I think has particular reference throughout the whole country, but particularly if you are a, a, a black-owned agency or somebody in advertising, you'd want to keep your ears absolutely tuned into what happens next. So with me then, uh, Gil Oved, who's uh, together with Ran, Ran Neuner, both of them in fact are on the line. So Gil and, and Ran, good chatting to both of you. Hi. Hi, Asha. Thanks for having us again. Yeah, it's a pleasure. How are you doing? Hi, how's it? So both, of course, the co-founders of the, the Creative Council. So, so Gil, let's start with you then. Uh, so let's talk about what is the plan here. What, what do you guys want to do? Nice idea, transform advertising. How are you going to do it? Well, it's uh, very simple. We've got to we've got to change the industry. And as the biggest uh, agency in the country, if it doesn't come from us and we don't need the, the change, then it, it may never happen. So what we decided is very simply is to, to do a shout out to anyone who's looking to start a, a business or are in a phase where they need support and help, and we're there to provide it. We're inviting people to come, and out of the, out of the various uh, options, we're going to pick a few. We're going to bring them into our business, into our offices. We're going to help them with mentorship, with guidance, with infrastructure, with support, with access to contacts and networks, and this is going to cost them absolutely nothing. We're not looking to take equity. We're not looking for investment. We're not looking for return on, or any upside, all we want to do is we want to make a difference. We want to inspire people and specifically young black entrepreneurs. All right. Well, it sounds very interesting. Ron, just give me your first thoughts on that. So we, you've got to take a look at the advertising industry. And if you look at the advertising industry, you realize that it's one of the slowest <clears throat> industries in the country to transform. Um, and the type of transformation, there are two types of transformation that, that are happening in the advertising industry. The first type of transformation is the one where these internationally owned companies or these white owned companies appoint black faces or black CEOs or black management. And then they say, hey, look, we're transforming because all our management is black. Mm. But that's not transformation because the returns are going back to the internationals which the white owned companies. If you look at the second type of transformation that's happening in the industry, you're getting um, guys that are, or, or brands that are, get, that are pitching out their work only to black-owned companies. So they exclude any internationals or white-owned companies from the pitch list. Um, that's great. But again, it's not doing any favors to the industry because what typically happens is these companies don't have the infrastructure to execute on the work. So what happens with these companies is they win these contracts all of a sudden, they get overwhelmed, they drown in all these operational, um, operational administrative infrastructural issues that they have, and a year later, these companies don't exist. So if you look at that, that, again, is not real transformation. So what do we call real transformation? So I it's very simple. When 100% black-owned agencies win or, or become the top five agencies in SA, then we can say that the industry has truly, truly, truly transformed. And that's our mission. So how are we going to do it? Very simple. We're going to take on a handful, five, six, um, 100% black-owned businesses. They must be in the realms of media, marketing, uh, digital, mobile, social, so that they can leverage off our client base, our relationships, and our infrastructure. We're going to provide these businesses with infrastructural support, accounting support, tax support, internet offices all around the country. As you know, we've got 80 mm -hmm. offices around the country. They're going to leverage off our infrastructure. We're going to do client introductions to these guys, like Gil said, we are not going to take equity in these guys because what we want is when they leave the incubator, when they actually have real businesses, these businesses must be 100% black owned. Otherwise, we're not being, otherwise, you can't say that you've transformed the industry. All right. If, if anybody wishes to join the conversation right now, 0891104207, we're talking about what seems to be pretty good, uh, uh, an idea to transform in, in a very, very different way. Uh, Bill, you know, so... Ron is explaining nothing very, very clearly. You know, sometimes you just get transformation at the very top. This one would be effective change. Why, why now? What, meaning, how much thought went into this? And, and, and in reality, in practical terms, how do you see this actually happening? Well, we've actually been discussing it for a long time. 
But the problem is we do a lot of talking as an industry and not much action happens as a result. And uh, it all came home when the one day uh, a few months ago I was standing at a, in a conference, I'm not going to mention which one, and there was a panel to discuss uh, marketing to the bottom end of the industry, the main market, and there were seven people on stage, panelists, experts on this market, and they were all white. Mm. And, I, I mean, it was farcical. And we had an audience of black people listening to seven white people talking about how to market to to the main market. It's just a ludicrous scenario. So we've been saying for a long time the transformation has become. Um, we've been busy focusing on growing the business for the past 15 years. Past a uh, couple of years have been focused on doing the deal with publicists, which uh, uh, took some time. And uh, we said that as soon as that deal is done, we can focus on the next part of, of our lives, which is about creating legacy and making a real difference. And, and for us, this is one of the things we wanted to do to create transformation. Uh, we, we were very fortunate that we won Industry Leaders of the Year last year. And uh, if you're going to be a leader, you've got you to have a vision, and you've got to have a vision for change. And I think this is the right place, right time in our lives and for the business. What, what has been the, the reaction so far, Ron? Just comment on that. Meaning just imme- immediate reaction so far from all stakeholders in the industry? It's been quite funny because um, it's been almost too good to be true. You know, the guys phone me or, or, WhatsApp or, or send us their, their business plans and it's like, God, what's the catch here? Um, I want to reiterate Gil's point that there is no catch here. Um, we've received, as you know, we've received many accolades over the past 15 years. And I think we, I mean, we, like Gil said, we won Entrepreneur of the Year last year and we won Industry Leaders within our industry. And then we took a step back and we said, okay, we really, really, really are at the top now. We've got the biggest agency in South Africa. We've revolutionized marketing in South Africa. We're industry leaders. What can we do to now leave a legacy? And the legacy is very simple. We want to be remembered as the guys that transformed the advertising and marketing industry in South Africa. And we're not going to stop until we achieve that goal. Pretty simple. And and, and may I say this, therefore, that uh, never mind the whole publicist deal. In fact, if this thing works well, it would mean that possibly long-term chunks uh, of revenue that would have gone to, you know, your company, Creative Council, uh, would, would actually then go elsewhere. I shall. If you call that a success problem. Mm. I'd love to That's have transformation. <laughs> and, so, and you know what? what? If you look you know at what? The, there's plenty. Yeah, there's go, go. go around. There's plenty to go around. And you, you can't be looking at it from that perspective. If anything, I think that more money needs to be invested in our industry. And not enough is being invested because uh, clients don't necessarily see the full return on investment because there isn't enough insight, because there isn't enough innovation, because there isn't enough entrepreneurship. So for me, I'm happy to take the risk that a, that a small black agency that we incubate mm. eats into our revenues because I believe that the converse could be that one day we could maybe partner up and do things together and grow businesses and, and create innovations and, and, and there's plenty to go around mm, mm, if you're doing mm. good work. Our biggest challenge in our industry is bad competition that brings the industry down and that leaks uh, revenues with no return on investment, which means the clients are inclined not to spend uh, with marketers. So for me, bring it on. Okay, now, now Ryan, let, let, give me your thoughts then on this one. You made the point that you know, you're going to incubate, but, but there's no equity. Now, why? I know many others would have a model to say, especially if we're dealing with inexperienced companies, we'll first have equity and then gradually sort of wean ourselves off that company. Why, why the suit that, in fact, you're going to incubate, you're going to advise, you're going to possibly assist them, you're going to find clients, you're going to actually assist them to grow completely with no vested interest in that company whatsoever. Uh, it sounds wonderful, but, but why would you do that? I'm going, to, I'm going to answer that question with two points. The, the first point that I want to make is what, the one that Gil touched on, to say that, unfortunately, the advertising and marketing industry is not getting the returns that it should be getting within the mass markets. And the reason why it's not getting the returns that it should be getting within the mass markets is because the insights, we don't have the insights because the businesses are run by internationals or by, let's call it, white faces. And, the, and because that's happening, people are not spending as much as they want to, as they should be spending to target the mass market in South Africa. So what we want to do is if we think we can open the coffers much more if we get better insights that are going to give brands better returns in those markets. 
So, so that's the, that's the first reason. The second reason why we don't want equity is because if you take a business that is eligible to come into this incubator, let's just quickly look at the, the criteria for eligibility. You have to be 100% black owned. Mm. Your turnover has to be under 20 million rand because we can't, we can't incubate big businesses. We, we, we're there to incubate, um, uh, businesses that are running. Um, the business cannot be a startup. It cannot be an idea. It's got to be something that has got a little bit of a track record because we're not looking for ideas. We're looking for businesses. Uh, when you say a little bit of track record, how much is a little bit? So we've, I mean, we've considered people with, that are turning over 2 million rand a year, um, up to 20 million rand a year. Okay. And, and I, the, the reason is because I think there are a lot of ideas out there, but we want the people that have actually taken the plunge and actually started businesses. So if you look at those type of businesses that meet that criteria, the problem is that if you start taking equity, it, at that phase of the life cycle of the business, equity is very cheap. And what you'll find is that you'll take a big chunk of equity for it to be small return. Mm. And then let's assume that a year or two from now, the business wants to um, embark on some growth plans, they'll sell equity again. And the problem is that by the time they leave the incubator, they're no longer a black-owned business because they would have given up us equity, they would have given the second round um, investor equity, and they're not going to be a black-owned business. And if we do that, then we're going to just land up exactly where we are today, where the businesses, the top five uh, businesses in the marketing and media industry are owned more than 50% by internationals or by white faces. Yeah, so it's not just about white, but also that is foreign-owned, which is another problem, yeah. Exactly. That's my transformation. Ashraf, I want to repeat that the, we will know that we've succeeded when in the top five agencies in South Africa, there are one or two that are 100% black owned. Then we will Ashraf, know that I think, succeeded. Yeah, go, go ahead. I, I, and mm. It's also because that, uh, you know, our intention with this incubation is not a money making venture. We, that's not what we're after. We're after transformation. We've, we've had huge privilege huge privilege over the years um, and w- which is what l- helped us get to where we are and um, a lot of people that are going to be entering this incubator don't have that those privileges never had them when they, when they started so we're trying to augment that and that's the primary purpose of this whole thing it's okay. not about making money all right Some, someone in fact uh, Niawuza is saying these two gents on air right now are right on the money uh, hashtag transform the advertising industry. I think many may support you. Right. Quickly, just in terms of nuts and bolts, uh, let's talk about deadlines very quickly. Where, where, I mean, access, give, give me a website address and, and, and deadlines. One of you can go ahead. Go ahead. So there's no, there's no real deadline. We're looking, we're going to take our time to look for the right businesses. We've taken on one business already, um, and we're probably looking for five or six, no more than that, just because we want to give the businesses airtime with myself and Gil, and we don't want to spread ourselves too thin. So we're going to carry on until we find the five or six. Anybody that wants to apply, please only if you meet the criteria. You've got to uh, email your business, your, uh, an overview of your business, as well as your last year financials to incubator at creativecouncil.co.za. Um, include a brief overview of your company, your last year financials. We'll have a look at it and we'll get back to you if we think that you meet the criteria. Okay, incubator at the creative council. That's, that's at, at creative council. Oh, at the creative, creative council. Creative council. But okay, if, you, if you, anybody's stuck with any of that and they can't remember, just drop me an email to ashraf at safm.coza. I'll tell you what, let me throw this out to both of you guys because I think I also feel so strongly about transformation. Maybe what we should do is, um, as we move down the line, I'm throwing this challenge open to both of you. Let's do case studies of those companies on here. Get them both on, you guys and them, over the period of time we'll talk about it. Fantastic. Incredible. Okay. We're in. There we are. Well, we're in is, is of course, as per that book I'm in, uh, which is a great entrepreneurship book, by the way, Gil, uh, that, that I have read. The Creative Council, they're coming together with an incubator for transforming the advertising industry. Like, anybody can argue against that, uh, to think that that's a lousy, bad idea. Uh, tell me why, because I'd, I'd, I'd love to know. You can tweet your thoughts, your perhaps excitement, especially with a smaller company, black-owned, uh, in advertising, just dabbled in it for the last year or so. There's a massive chance to grow, and you're going to actually tag on to uh, a company, the biggest advertising agency in terms of uh, in numbers uh, in the country, and two of the biggest names in the country. So it's up to you, Ashraf Adesef, Otherwise, just tweet at the media shop. Right.